What is going on, all of you Call of Duty gamers? Um, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we got some Mauer der Toten gameplay in the background. Uh, you know, probably really the only good map to me on Cold War Zombies at the moment. Hopefully, the next one will be good. But, I mean, today, we're not here to talk about Cold War Zombies. I just kind of want to talk about Call of Duty as a whole and where I think the game should go. I mean... I, I, it's above my pay grade, obviously, to even, like, I don't know, give out suggestions or even my opinion on this on this matter. But, you know, I think, personally, that Call of Duty has kind of exhausted all of its, uh, I don't want to say limitations, but all of its ideas, maybe. I mean, we've gone through all these different settings. We've been to World War II multiple times. We're going back there again. Um, we've been in the modern era. We've been in the future. And, I mean, I kind of think... It's getting kind of lackluster to have to just buy that, I don't know, same thing just over and over and over again. And I mean, it would just be a lot better in my opinion, because Call of Duty is at that point if they would just make one game and continue to update it over time. Because I mean, you got games like Fortnite, you got games like, I don't know, <laughs> Apex or something. But I mean, if you look at Call of Duty Mobile, that that's just going on perfectly for them right now. I forget if it's generating more revenue than Warzone is, but it's just a Call of Duty game that is a compilation, I don't want to say compilation, maybe, but like, it's an accumulation of all of the Call of Duty games put into one, and I feel like if that was the game that they had on console and PC and everything, and it was like the main title, I feel like that would be a lot better because they could just keep updating it adding maps adding modes and like say you were on the modern warfare engine they could just keep on like updating it instead of just making a new game over and over because i mean vanguard just is a modern warfare copy and paste reskin whatever so i mean honestly in theory they could just keep on updating the same game like basically every company is doing or what they're even just doing right now with cod mobile because you know it's not like they're making campaigns anymore uh, i mean i honestly don't think they will vanguard if it has a good campaign dude that'll be sick i guess but i mean the, the main thing that's pushing call of duty right now is warzone and i don't know maybe zombies a little bit in a way uh i don't really see 6v6 doing much right now but i mean if you're like me i'm like super into cod multiplayer still because i watch the cdl and i mean as soon as like the cdl just goes down then that's that's kind of it for cod multiplayer and then it's just going to be warzone and maybe zombies but i don't know cod's going in a weird direction at the moment it'd be cool if they would just i don't know they they need their they need their spark back uh, or something i don't know because we're just seeing we're seeing games like cold war it's just a bo2 soft remaster like we could just have a normal call of duty game just throw those maps in there and stuff but keep on updating it as well maybe get other maps from other games other guns from other games and everything because we're already seeing call of duty is starting to like all come together in all of the different companies and stuff like that like Treyarch's working on the next zombies mode so it kind of just makes more sense to me if all of the companies would come together and just work on one call of duty title whether it's just called call of duty online or they could literally just call it call of duty call of duty like legacy or something i have no idea but it could literally just be one game where they just keep updating it adding maps adding modes everything like i don't know campaign just doesn't seem to be the thing that everyone's looking for nowadays um I mean, they could just keep on adding stories to it or something, or a story DLC or whatever, but I don't know. I would also like to hear other people's thoughts on the matter as well. If you would like to keep on buying a new Call of Duty every year, or if you would like to see a Call of Duty game that's just updated constantly. Because, I mean, there isn't a Fortnite 2, there isn't a Minecraft 2, there isn't, like, I don't know, all these games that have just been going on for years, they don't get a new title every year. And I mean, honestly, it doesn't really help the matter whenever every single Treyarch game that comes out, we're just expecting to see Raid, Firing Range, um, probably Slums, Nuketown especially. Like, we see the same maps in Treyarch games, especially every game, because 
people don't like the new maps that are being made. So we're just going to keep on buying new Call of Duties that just have the same exact maps on them. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Vanguard has some, like, Advanced Warfare or World War II remakes. Like, I already heard that we're going to be having London Docks in Vanguard from World War II. So, I, I don't know. It's just, like, we're getting all these map remakes and everything in every single Call of Duty. I don't see why they just don't, like, keep one Call of Duty going and then bring out, like, remixes, I guess you could say, of each map. And I remember ever since Black Ops 1, I've been hearing people always saying they would love to see a standalone Call of Duty Zombies game, which I mean, that would be cool, but just imagine just one Call of Duty game that they just keep updating and adding maps to and everything. We wouldn't have to just, I don't know, there would be no reason for it at that point if we're just like guaranteed to have one game that keeps on bringing... And there's a lot of pros to having one Call of Duty game that's just constant instead of having a new one every year. But there's obviously some cons as well. It's like that with every single subject that you could talk about. And really the main con that would really affect the whole thing is just it would affect the company probably mostly. They might actually lose money maybe. It's honestly hard to say. They probably make more money just from the cosmetics in each game than they do from releasing each game. So they could probably... It's not like they need any of the extra money to begin with. So I don't know. It would work either way. They already make so much money from all of these cosmetics and everything. So I don't see what the issue would be in the end. And whenever we're getting to that point, whenever there's supposed to be, like, the new COD coming out or whatever, it could just be a whole new, like, update overhaul of the entire game or something. It might also just be super hard for like all of the different companies to come together and be able to actually just make one Call of Duty game and keep on updating it because each company has their own taste at the end of the day and their own vision of what Call of Duty is. But honestly, I don't really see that happening anytime soon because, you know, 2025 is coming up so I wouldn't be surprised if that year they released Black Ops 2 Remaster because, you know, that was the setting and everything. But, I don't know, that would be kind of cool, but then again, like I was saying, I don't think that a standalone COD game is going to be happening any time soon. And not to mention, they also have Modern Warfare 2 Remastered just sitting in their pocket for some reason. Like, we have the campaign, but they won't give us the multiplayer, which is kind of weird, honestly. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'd say by, by the time 2025 comes around or after, we might be seeing a standalone Call of Duty game by that time. Because, you know, they probably already have, like, the next four years planned out for what they're going to be doing. I don't know. I'm no fortune teller, but I feel like that's what's going to happen. Okay, but that's really all I have to say on the subject for now. So if you guys agree with me, I guess just leave a like on the video or tell me your thoughts down below. Or if you just think I'm stupid, leave a dislike. It's been Monko, and I'll see y'all in the next one.